Hawaii County has partially activated its emergency operations center and says they're keeping a close watch on the Hilo area. It looks like they'll probably get the most of the rain and possibly the, the wind, although, you know, we could see stuff down at South Point uh, and Ka'u as well. So um, our teams are all preparing their, their battle rhythms. Going Big Island Mayor the, Mitch Roth their... says county teams began meeting with state and local partners earlier this week, including DOT and Hawaiian Electric. Good sprint racing conditions right here, Michael. Roth says as the World Sprints Canoe Paddling Competition is set to wrap tomorrow, officials want attendees to be prepared for severe weather. Just getting ready to move forward with whatever comes our way. You know, our public works guys will probably be looking at the ditches and canals and, you know, as far as sandbags, if there's a uh, heavy rain event and there is flooding, then we'll be bringing out the, the sandbags and things like that. Hawaiian Electric says based on the current forecasts, they don't anticipate the need to activate the public safety power shutoff. It's a combination of high winds, but also dry conditions. Uh, you know, when the grasses and uh, you know the vegetation is very dry, that's when you have a higher risk of wildfires. Um, you know, so based upon the current forecast, you know, it's not meeting those thresholds. Although HECO doesn't expect to cut power, officials are encouraging families and businesses to start prepping emergency kits with at least two weeks of supplies in case the lights do go out. Essential items include medication, non-perishable food, water, and a flashlight with extra batteries. What we really ask is that our customers uh, do their part and try to make sure that they're ready at their homes. Emergency officials also encourage families to clear gutters and drainage systems and create an evacuation plan. Jolani Martinez, Hawaii News Now.